Breaking now, murder charges filed in the case of a man accused of killing his estranged wife and then leading officers in a standoff. And that standoff lasted in lasted hours in Katy. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Sarah Donchie. And I'm Keith Garvin. Within the last 90 minutes, we've also learned the identity of the suspect in the case. His name is Rennie Nunez. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is live in Katy with the latest on the charges filed against him and what's next in the investigation. Brittany? Now, Sarah, right now we know that Rennie Nunez is facing a murder charge, but we went ahead and checked out his record, and it doesn't appear that he has any previous arrests or charges. Now, as you mentioned, this all started off as a standoff. This taking place hours ago here at this apartment complex where he barricaded himself inside and shot himself before police were able to get him out. So that's when the ambulance comes up. Rigo Berto Hernandez watched from his window as SWAT team surrounded the Willow Lake apartment complex. And they were just scattered everywhere. His neighbor, Rennie Nunez, was barricaded inside. Fort Bend County Sheriff Troy Nail said that detectives followed Nunez here and they tried to use tear gas. When that didn't work, the SWAT team went in and found that Nunez had shot himself. He had an enormous amount of blood around his, his face. Uh, we called med flight. Before the standoff, Deputies say Nunez is accused of shooting his estranged wife at her apartment complex eight and a half miles away. Harris County officials say that the two had a child together. They say that when Nunez came to the apartment complex, he got into a fight with her and pulled a gun. And at first, it turned to a physical, and the, one of the males tried to, uh, the, the, uh, evidently the boyfriend tried to, um, to come to the rescue of the female, and the, the male produced a handgun and uh, shot the, the female multiple times. That woman died from gunshot wounds and Nunez was flown to the hospital. It's the day after Mother's Day, you know, I don't know what emotions were like yesterday, but um, it's just sad when someone takes another's life, you know. I mean, now you have children now that have, uh, do not have a mother. So very tragic, but also complicated case because there were two scenes. We had both Fort Bend County as well as Harris County investigating. As far as the next steps in all of this, we are told they will continue to search Nunez's apartment and vehicle. Live here in Katy, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.